Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, if you're new. Hi, my name is Zoe, nice to meet ya. If it sounds a little bit echoey, it is because I'm in my new house. I'm honestly not sure why it still sounds echoey because we have furnished it quite a bit. I mean, like I'm sitting at my dining table right now. We have a couch in our living room, a chair, a rug, a coffee table. I'm thinking maybe we need a rug for the dining room because it's just, it's still a little echoey in here. And I think it's because the entire downstairs is, it's not hardwood, but it's the other one. Not, oh my gosh, what is it? Not hardwood, but laminate? Maybe it's laminate or it's vinyl. It's one of those. I'm not entirely sure, but the entire downstairs is that, not carpet. So I'm pretty sure that's why it's pretty echoey in here. So at this point I have done a move-in vlog, a packing vlog, and I don't think I have filmed anything else in the house yet. And we have done a lot since those two videos. So I figured I would go ahead and do a house update for you guys. It's kind of like a house tour, but more updated because I did an empty house tour and you can look at that. I actually suggest you go watch the empty house tour first and then come back to this video just so you start off with like a clean slate. But I'm basically just gonna take you around the house and show you what it looks like now. I actually got a request to do a house update on Instagram, like someone wanted me to do a reel. So I'll do one of those as well. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. But I figured if someone wants it on Instagram, maybe it would be a good idea to do one on YouTube as well. So I'm gonna do this kind of just vlog style because I don't want it to be like exactly another house tour because I feel like that just gets a little bit redundant. So anyways, I it's actually a work day <laughs> for me today. I actually have quite a bit of work to do because obviously I don't know when you're watching this, but as of right now, my wedding is 10 days away, which is so, so crazy. But I'm gonna be out for three days next week like out of work. So I'm trying to prepare all my stuff, schedule, social media posts, and just make sure I don't have a lot to come back to and whoever's like filling in for me doesn't have a lot to do. So I have a lot to do right now, just prepping for that. And then also prepping for when I'm out for my honeymoon. Anyways, I don't even know where to start. Okay, this is our living room. My pillows aren't very like together right now. The house is still messy. We just, we don't have hangers yet. We don't really have a place for everything. So there's still quite a bit of stuff that's just like out in the open. We also get like new registry gifts like every day, almost every day. We've been doing a lot of building, putting things together, finding places for things. So this is not like a complete house is done, everything's clean, everything's put away kind of video. It's just, it's a work in progress. So this is our living room. We got this couch off of Facebook Marketplace and I feel like it was a pretty good price. This coffee table is from Walmart. It was like $100 which I feel like is not too bad for a coffee table. And then both this chair and this rug are from Costco. All of the pillows are just pillows that I have had over the years. These were all like in my room. This one was in my attic at home. I don't love it, but I figured if I have it, I'm just gonna put it here for now. I would like to replace it though with something different eventually. This is our little blanket basket. We have a bunch of blankets in here. And then we just have this lamp right here. I also added these coasters that we also got from our registry. I need to put something in here, but I literally just brought this to the house today from my room. So that's the living room. I've been playing some music on the TV. I have a little picture of Micah and I up there. So from the living room, there's this section. So obviously when I did the house tour and moving in, these weren't here yet. I think I, I did film bringing the first one in, but I don't think I filmed the second one. I can't remember, but this is what it's looking like. Over here, I have brought all of my plants now, except for two, there's still two in my room at home, but this is what we're looking like. Micah brought this stuff. I think it's a Wii, so we just have to like set it up so it's just kind of hanging out right there. This, you guys, oh my gosh, all of my blend jets are in these. I did also want this to be like a hutch, but not really. So I do have a shelf of just like a bunch of glasses. A lot of this is also stuff that I use for blend jet recipe videos, but also just like wine glasses that I had, more blend jet stuff. This is all blend jet stuff in here. This one, I would love for it to not be blend out stuff, just cause I do have an office now that that stuff can all go in. So I want this one to be like miscellaneous actual house things, like extra wallflowers. This is just like, I don't even know what that is. Obviously down here is more, <laughs> more blend jets, yay. And this down here is more blend jet stuff. It's crazy, I know. 
So this is our dining table that we got. It is quite messy right now because we have gotten a ton of mail that I just don't even know what to do with. <laughs> and then we got this key holder off of our registry that I wanted to put up, but a piece is broken. So we actually have another one getting delivered today. So I don't really know what to do with that one, which is why it's just kind of sitting there. But this dining table and the chairs and this bench, the whole set was from Facebook Marketplace, which was very exciting and I think we got it for I want to say 170 which is like I feel like for this for 170 was like really good so this is our first house ever so we have been trying to do things on a budget we're not like gonna ball out on furniture and stuff for our very first house you know we're gonna we're gonna grow in that area so we were just like it's our first house let's do Facebook marketplace for whatever we can obviously there are some things that are just easier to just buy online we've done a lot of Amazon stuff of, and we have our registry, which has been extremely helpful for furnishing the house. Okay, you guys, I'm honestly obsessed with our kitchen. Here's a little overview. Like I said, it's not clean. I just did some dishes, but we actually put this cabinet thing on our registry because as you can tell, we don't have like a ton of counter space except for this which is obviously really nice and I love this. I've never had an island and I'm so excited about it. But still, I was like, I wish we had a little bit more counter space. So I put this on the registry, it's from Amazon. It was a biatch to put together, but it's done and I'm so glad. Look how cute this is. This was not on our registry, but it was a gift from, I believe my aunt. Okay, water feature, like, are you serious? I love it. Um, so this is gonna be just like a little bevy station. I don't have anything in the drawers yet, but I do have some coffee in here, some wine, some coffee syrup. Lunja is doing a giveaway with Ritual, so they sent me a bunch of stuff, so I'm excited to try those. We finally got bar stools. They're a little bit like... Honestly, they were poorly made, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is... I don't know. I feel like they were poorly made. They were like $70 on Target and it was 70 for both of them. They were on clearance and I, I feel like I know why now. Like they're kind of cute. They look good and they match the dining table. So they look fine and I like that they push under the island really nicely. Like you can't, they're not in the way. So I do like them, but like the quality is like me. So nothing exciting out there. We haven't done anything with the backyard. <laughs> just yet. I just bought a water filter, so that's what this is. I'm not throwing this away yet because I don't know if I did it right and I want to ask my dad. <laughs> but we got some utensils. These are just some fake things that I just figured I would put out. We got these beautiful knives. Oh my gosh, I love them. <laughs> we got some spoons. We have a toaster, a waffle maker, all the normal things. I don't think there's anything. Oh, there's a couple things in here. An electric wine opener and a little hand mixer. We got some hand towels in there. We've got Tupperware containers. These are from Julia. Thank you, Julia. Don't mind the mango that I was trying to cut. It's not ripe. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> also, this is not a cutting board. It was a charcuterie board and it's just like ruined now kind of. So I was using it as a cutting board. Air fryer. I was going to let this all dry and put it away before I filmed this. But then I was like, no, I want to show them that we opted for instead of one of those fabric drying mats, we went for the stone drying mat and it's actually doing a pretty good job. Um, this is only like the second time I've used it, but it's working well so far. So yeah. And then this is the sink area. There's nothing in our fruit basket yet. <laughs> and then in here, it's not completely full in here yet, but we have plates and bowls. We do have a few things in our pantry. This is literally just a bunch of things that I've received from working with Blanche. <laughs> It's so crazy. So I just wanted to get it out of my parents' house and put it in here. We do have cups. Finally, I have a place for my Yetis. If you've been following me for a while or subscribed for a while, you know that, or maybe you don't know, honestly, I was keeping all of my Yetis in my bedroom under my TV and it was, it bothered me. It probably, no one probably noticed, but I'm out of breath. Also, we have nothing on the walls yet. Look at it though. Like I love my house. I really do. This thing is not complete yet. Let me know if you have any ideas for what I should put on here. I do have a golden pothos in my bedroom that I'm going to put here instead, but I don't know if it's going to be a lot with this plant. So we'll try it out and see what happens, but this is all I have on this shelf so far.
Now let's venture on upstairs. So I will start with the guest room. The bedrooms up here get some really nice light. And this was originally in the dining room, but I, I don't think she loved being down there. So I brought her up here because the sun comes in really nicely and I think she's gonna like that. So she is like leaning a little bit. I've been thinking about taking her to a plant store and like getting advice <laughs> because I also have these long roots, I guess. There's like a bunch of them. And I really don't know <laughs> like what to do with this right now. Especially Especially once we get a bed in here, I'm like, where am I gonna put this? <laughs> but this is literally the only things that are in here. And then the little entryway table that I have in my room that my TV is on, I wanna put it somewhere around here. Hi. So this has honestly just been the room that I've been putting a lot of <laughs> random decor stuff that used to be in my bedroom that Micah doesn't really like. And so it just like gets stuck in the <laughs> guest room. But I still like all of this stuff. Like I really love this thing. So I'm, I'll put it up here in the guest room. I really like this Versailles print from Etsy. The frame is from Goodwill, but I like it. But once we get a bed and have actual furniture in here and can decorate, I think it'll all come together and be cute. This is just a suitcase that needs to go in the attic. And then literally just random stuff is in here. This is what our hallway looks like, but this was in here and it can still go in here. I just haven't put it in there yet. It's a printer and then some other Blundjet equipment and stuff. We're about to walk into the office. <laughs> it's like a little, it's just a little cluttered right now. I mean, I feel like I keep saying this, once we're like truly settled and get some more things, it'll work out. And you might not even think that it looks cluttered. This is what the office looks like right now. We've got my Blendjet setup. There's one light there. My camera is over there, but when I film, I will have to move this futon and put my camera there. This is just like miscellaneous. This is the chair that I sit on when I film in front of the TV. And we also have another light. So this closet is really just gonna be like filming equipment and things like that. So with this room, the plan was to get an L desk, but now that my light is up there, an L desk is not gonna work because the light kind of juts out a little bit. So I took the L desk off of our registry and I put a different one. It was a whole thing <laughs> because Micah plays Xbox, but I work from home. And so I was like, okay, with the TV and the standing desk and the futon and a desk. I'm a type of person that really likes to be like organized and everything like look tidy and neat. Oh my gosh, he's here, speak of the devil. Um, So I was like, okay, maybe I don't wanna work in here if it's just like cluttered with a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so I was like, maybe I'll put a desk in the guest room and I'll work in there. And then whenever I have to film, I'll come in here. Especially because with his Xbox, he has a separate monitor and I have a monitor and my laptop and it's just like a lot. But we found a desk that has like a separate monitor monitor stand and so I think it'll end up working out. I think it'll be fine. That's the plan for this room. I think we're gonna put the desk there once we get it. But yeah, this is what this room is looking right like right now. It's really nice light. Hi! <laughs> this is the guest room. Or I mean the guest bathroom. We bought a shower curtain for it and it doesn't have towel holder rings. So that's what this is. There's also no shower curtain rod, which is why that stuff is just sitting there. So this is stuff that we still need to kind of install and get together, but we have it ready to go. <laughs> this is just laundry, linen closet. I do have a couple of things in here, but that's literally it. We've made a ton of progress in the master bedroom. We got a bed frame, we got a mattress, which was already in here in the move-in vlog, but we also got this little mattress pad and it actually gave it a lot more height, which I really like. We also got pillows off of our registry and I got these pillowcases from Kitsch from Blundjet. <laughs> empty suitcase. This little olive tree was downstairs and then I just wasn't loving how it was looking and I think it looks much better up here. We also got a dresser which was literally in bits and pieces when we were putting it together and so that one took a while as well. More random stuff just sitting because we don't know where to put it yet. The house came with this TV but we put up this shelf so that we have somewhere to put little things like that. This has a bunch of clothing in it but we don't have hangers yet. Reading nook is doing her thing. We still need to get some nightstands. And my books look so cute over here. I love them. I think they look so good. This is all my books, I'm pretty sure. So they fit perfectly. And then master bathroom. I just have stuff everywhere. The This bathroom also didn't come with little hand towel things. So I got a bar off of 
Amazon that we need to put together. And then lastly, we have the closet. So I have gotten quite a few things in here. It's just not organized at all. Not all of my clothing is in here either, so I need to bring the rest over and we need hangers. <laughs> so that is the house. That's basically a little house update. Micah is here and he's trying to figure out this little sliding back door thing that we got because I couldn't figure it out. I feel like I did it wrong. So yeah, I'm going to get back to work, but that is my little house update for you guys. I'm truly obsessed with how everything has turned out so far. There are still quite a few things that we need. We got silverware, but we don't have an organizer. Just all these little random things. We also need a vacuum because we don't have one. We do have a Roomba, but I feel like that's not like, enough. I feel like a Roomba is just for a little cleanup here and there. I'm ready to get a vacuum, but I believe that is it. I don't even know what the next video is for you guys. It's probably wedding related. Cause like I said, we're super close to that. Yeah, I think the next video is gonna be like a last minute wedding prep kind of thing. So I recently got my highlights retouched. I got them retouched and then I got them retouched again. In the moving vlog, I was leaving the first hair appointment and then I recently went this past weekend to get it even more blonde and I quite like how it turned out. So I filmed a little bit of that. I will film getting my wedding nails done. This is not them. <laughs> and anything else that comes up that fits into the last minute wedding prep category. So very exciting. Marriage is so soon. I cannot wait. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like it. Subscribe down below. Do all of the things. Leave a comment. Turn on the notifications. Whatever else there is. Share this video with a friend. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.